Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have another great video for you all today where I'm going to be covering for you the decline in Bitcoin price over the last few weeks, the range that we are in now to be trading from and also my perspective of how I believe Bitcoin is going to be going over the next two weeks. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one, it's going to be good and let's start off with, before I go over the trades that I am in right now, I would like to just firstly cover the decline that we have seen, uh, specifically from the monthly level. So over the last 14 days, uh, the, the decline has been very rapid indeed. Uh, so I'd just like to explain why this has happened before I get into this range. Uh, so very clearly, we had that very nice impulse to the upside, okay? From the impulse to the upside, we came down to the 0.5 Fib, and for me, that was the must-hold support, okay? It was the must-hold for support to support bullish continuation. Okay, from there, we, we did bounce up, then from high to low, hit the 618 resistance, and from there, we, we can see it's been a, a very much a downturn. But for me, well, the hope was not lost for the bullish scenario until we flipped, basically, 9,153. And that was obviously our old support. So we broke down from the 0.5 Fibonacci. We then come, you know, got a big decline from that. We come up and then back tested the monthly level. What I mean by this is old support. So you can see here, old support lost flipped to resistance on the wick. And, you know, that's where it got very, very ugly indeed. Uh, and for me, I've, I've been very adamant to saying to my group over the last few weeks that I am not entering a long and uh, just very much happy to be sat in my shorts. So, uh, you know, as I also mentioned on Twitter, but obviously I'm much more adamant in my group that, you know, that, that there's no reason to try and catch the falling knife on this move down. If, if you've just been waiting for bids and bids and bids and bids just each time trying to catch this falling knife, well, unfortunately, you're probably going to have lost a lot of money. And that's why we have to, as traders, be very patient and wait for the chart to tell us to long, not just randomly try and buy every support that you think is going to hold. That That is the quick way to lose money. Um, so, yeah, that was obviously, uh, yeah, yes, just insane. The, the speed that this has come down at has just been, obviously, from, from that monthly, what we saw was the decline. We saw, we, we saw three really nice pumps on the way up. Uh, each one was a rise in price with a decline in open interest. And for me, that's how I managed to short uh, each of the big four wicks uh, leading down to what, what was here now, an even bigger decline. And obviously, each of those four uh, shorts that I have taken on the this account have been all documented uh, videos and tweets. And yeah, so it's, it's been it's been a good few weeks. I'm not going to lie. But um <laughs> nevertheless that that's what we basically saw that's how i managed to short those five five uh, no sorry four wicks and it was just from the open interest and the general market sentiment uh and obviously the technical analysis of seeing these sr flips at, at the key levels uh, so it has been very very nice indeed um so what what does that leave us with now okay so what we can see that we have had that <clears throat> heavy decline okay heavy decline onto the six six Fib fibonacci level okay so if we just zoom out here very um quickly we can see this is from the overall low to the overall high of the 2019 rise okay so from that 2019 rise we have come down okay to this area of value in my opinion okay and, and we can see that there was an area of value from the v-shaped recovery that we saw last night okay uh actually uh the the 25th so early morning okay early morning yesterday there was a rapid decline rise in price Okay, and this was is obviously going to be fueled from the funding rate. So if you look look at the funding rate over on Bitmex, uh, the funding rate was heavily heavily favouring longs. Uh, so when you get that, you always have to envisage envisage a rise in price, and a rise in price is, is what we got. <laughs> uh, so there was obviously very uh, strong bullish divergences. You did get very strong bullish divergences as well. Uh, so the combination of four hour bullish divergences. OK, along with the uh, funding rate heavily, heavily favoring longs, that's how you can start to see these very rapid uh, rises in price, along with the fact that anyone that had shorted over the past two days, um, you know, essentially if they shorting at the lower, lower end of the range that they're getting short squeeze. And, and that's how you can get those quick rises. You know how quick Bitcoin moves just as it's just as it moves very quick to the downside it can definitely move quickly to the upside as well. And that's absolutely why I love trading Bitcoin uh, or just crypto in general, to be honest. But now I think we will be more range bound. OK, so I do believe we're going to be get a bit more calmness in the market over the next few days as we begin to work out a consolidation range. Obviously, the consolidation range, you have to view it as a 50 50 breaking up or down. Uh, you know, the bullish scenario is just that we are extremely oversold. The funding rate is still going to be favoring longs and uh, you, you are at an area of value. And the, the, the short uh, sort of scenario or the bearish scenario is that, well, this is very much bearish market structure. You still haven't taken, for me, 
very, very important level right now of the daily, 7,224. And, and until that's really reclaimed for me, it's hard to be bullish. Okay, I, I, I appreciate we're at an area of value, but still I want to see bulls actually prove something to me on the charts uh, before I take a long. So as you might have saw right there, I am in a short position right now on Bitcoin, okay? Um, obviously, I managed to catch it up on Wednesday. So on Wednesday, I was doing a contenders live stream, uh, and I caught this just before the contenders live stream, but then fully explained the short position. And as we can see from that entry, um, currently sat, you have to remember, this is like a challenge account that I do specifically for live streams in the group, but currently sat with about 1,400% profit uh, off of a £26,000 position. So uh, pretty nice in terms of percentage and uh, I am as you can see here I've trailed my stops into profit right now and I'm waiting to see how this range breaks if we start to reclaim the daily we'll look to close out of the long uh, but uh, yeah uh, uh, until we reclaim that one has to envision you know lower prices excuse me <clears throat> So yeah, that, that's basically how I'm trading it right now. Sat in a short position, healthy profits, stop loss in profits, ultimately seeing if we can come down and challenge the low of the range. If that doesn't happen and we do reclaim the daily, then I will close out of the short. Um, yeah, that, that will be my viewpoint. I will close out that short if that daily is reclaimed. Uh, but until that happens, one has to look for, for a little bit lower prices. But I do definitely appreciate the... Uh, the upside to to potentially come here um so yeah what else do i wanted to cover so i wanted to go over how i can see this playing out i think it's for me it's very important how this range breaks okay if we do break the range to the to the upside break the daily break the monthly i think we can start to see very rapid to rises in price you can be looking up for around eight thousand five hundred. Uh, so this daily and monthly very very critical resistances that the bulls need to claim OK, if that is unable to be done, OK, and, and the bears, you know, get out of this range again, um, although we are very, very oversold, then you have to be looking down to around the 5,500, 5,100 levels. OK, that's obviously quite a way off from here, but you just have to remember that crypto moves quickly. So you just have to be very much on your toes, on your toes, ready to trade it up or down. OK, if you hold a bullish bias or a bearish bias, you remove the bias, trade what's given to you on the chart, just trade what's given you on the chart. And um, yeah, you should definitely make profit. So uh, obviously, this is this is a little bit of now uh, just showing you like the consistency that's required. So on this this challenge account that I have, this is the last two weeks of trading. Okay, so literally from the from the tenth to the twenty sixth now, so two weeks and one day. <laughs> uh, this account has now grown. If we add on the uh, per the unrealized PNL by 0 0.7 Bitcoin. So 0 0.7 Bitcoin in two weeks, that's uh, $5,000. Okay, and, and that has been $5,000 gain, two weeks of trading from the consistency of trading this. Okay, and how do I get consistency of trading that? Firstly, it's by looking at the structure of the market. It's, see, it's, it's recognizing that the market is, is heading downwards. It's then recognizing, okay, I want to only be positioned to myself to the short side to trade with the trend. I don't want to fight the trend. I have no reason to, to catch the absolute bottom. I, I personally believe that the traders that want to nail the absolute bottom are the traders that want to then post that on Twitter for their, to, to boost their ego. Uh, but essentially what you'd be seeing is losing 10 trades in a row. They'll finally win the 11th trade. They'll claim it as a win. That's not a win in my opinion. You want the consistency. You want to see something like this. The, the gains on the account that are continuously coming in every single day. Uh, that's consistency in trading, not nailing one trade. Let's be honest with you. Um, so I just thought I'd mention that little bit of a rant. But nevertheless... Um, yeah, that's that's how I see uh, Bitcoin trading. I do believe we'll range back. We will remain range bound for the next few days before we either break from the low of the range, which for me, the low of the range is 6,700. High of the range, really, I've got the high of the range here, 7,300. So if you start getting daily four hour closes above these levels, would expect naturally continuation to the upside if you close above or continuation to the downside if you close below. OK, so that's Bitcoin. And I will mention just one altcoin here, and that is Atom. So as you can see, if you look at if you look at the altcoin uh, chart, uh, altcoin percentages here on the right, the, the best gainer today for me off my watch list is Atom. And uh, this is one that I am myself very proud of uh, because this was an absolute stunning trade that I'm going to go through here. Uh, this trade for me, uh, this is obviously in my group. I do chart chart. Uh, trade of the week and trade of the week is where I give for me the the best setup, one setup and the best setup of the week. And uh, this was one that I posted on the 17th of November. So if you come coming on a week or so ago. And uh, my idea was that we were in an A, B, C, D, E triangle and seeing there an A, B, C. OK, so this from where I was posting it is a 15 percent decline from that 15 percent decline. I'm aiming for a 30 percent gain. So 
that that was my how I was looking to envision this trading out, and this is how it traded out. So I absolutely, this is not bragging though. Either way, this is just. This is amazing. Um, to be honest with you, trading technical analysis, perfection. What we saw there was the ABCDE triangle absolutely play out as I expected. There was zero, zero drawdown. You see that swift move, 15% to the downside, wicking, wicking onto the entry. From there, you hold your higher low, you move on to a higher high, you move on to your higher low. The coin takes off. We're, we're seeing about 27% gain in three days of trading. Uh, from from a call that I made from a 15% decline to a 30% rise, um, that that is that is very nice indeed, and that that for you is trade of the week. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that that you know just moving on again, and it's, it's very very similar down to the weekly levels rise up. Then yesterday, what we saw was our decline to the 382, also the middle of the channel, and uh, from that weekly, you're, you're seeing another rise. So that's 10% overnight because I obviously I done a live stream last night for the champions, and that's uh, another 10% overnight on. On that one if they decided to compound but yeah trading right now going very well the altcoins and bitcoin together um yeah literally nearly coming on 30 percent gain on that one obviously bitcoin sat in health very very healthy profits if we're honest um and uh yeah trades going very well uh so <laughs> i hope that you've enjoyed this video i hope it's been beneficial educational uh you've seen some of the reasons why i'm taking trades i've explained the range that i believe that we're in on bitcoin and then how i'm looking to trade it if we break up or down on the range being transparent with my trades um i hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed it and i will catch you in the next video uh where we'll see if we can break out of this and then how i'll be naturally looking to trade this with my targets uh as as, as and when i get them if you want obviously my my proper updates uh then Obviously, chartchampions.com, you can come across to the website, sign up, and uh, obviously I give my updates here in real time, um, you know, my, my full effort goes in, into the group, if I'm honest. So, um, yeah, if you're interested, come along, check us out, I'm sure, absolutely sure you won't be disappointed. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, thank you once again for watching this video. Oh, uh, if you are interested, catch you over in the members area, if not, the next public video that I do, uh, maybe later this week. So, thank you very, very much. Uh, if you have enjoyed, I thoroughly would appreciate a like down below. Uh, that, that would make my day a like. Uh, so, you know, Feel free, feel free if you would like to give me a like. If not, give that dislike. Um, and let me know in the comments down below, how are you viewing this range? Do, do you think that we are breaking up from here? This is an absolute amazing area of value in what is, we have to acknowledge, uh, a 2019 uptrend. So from the 2019 uptrend, sorry, this trading view is lagging. Do you think now we are going to be seeing higher prices or do you believe that the high is in and it's it's lower, sorry, the, the, there's still, the downtrend is continuing and we will be getting lower prices to come. I think my internet's crashed here, by the way. But uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, just let me know down below whether you are envisaging this is a low, we'll see higher prices or whether the downtrend can continue here, too much lower prices to come. Uh, I'll be reading through all those comments. Thanks once again. Catch you in the next video. Cheers, everybody. Peace. Thanks. Bye.